since I started as superintendent in 2012, um, I probably meet with hundreds of students, and over the course of seven years, I've been here thousands. And I can tell you that a frequent question to me and a frequent request to me from students and parents has been, uh, particularly at the middle school, the two sports that have been brought forward today. So if it matters at all, I'm in favor of them. Uh, I also want to share that a good question for someone tonight or, or who's joining the party tonight um, might say, well, wh why, why haven't we already done this? Why are we just bringing this forward tonight because the board had requested it? It's not the first time it's been brought forward. Uh, there's been a previous presentation, not exactly the same, but similar. Uh, one of the reasons was in 2012-13, when I first began to hear, why don't we have middle school baseball or middle school uh, field hockey, uh, was the first year that I remember a budget where we reduced, uh, I think, about $1.6 million uh, from nothing but instructional services and personnel here at the school board office. And I also recall that we were uh, way behind and had to spend the better part of the last several years, thanks to some heavy lifting by this school board, to get stipends just up to where they were pre-recession. It was also important, I believe, that we, uh, as has been affectionately known as sunsetting, an activity fee that parents were required to pay for their students to participate in high school sports. And uh, some of that was helping to fund middle school sports. So I want to make sure that as we move forward that there is some context that as we consider moving forward, and I am very much in favor you know, whatever the board decides tonight in terms of next steps, uh, that we continue to remember that um, the costs associated, which some things seem to cost a lot to folks and others don't seem to cost a lot, and sometimes they cost the exact same thing. It's just kind of a matter of what we want. And so as we're, we begin to consider moving forward with this, um, I, I want to make sure that we're also not forgetting that there will be folks that will say, let's expand further not only in the sporting areas, but as was a, a big topic in this past budget, looking at uh, activities such as, as music and art and theater and many other things that we want our students to have an edge in terms of being able to be competitive. And I, I think the involvement part that you mentioned earlier, uh, Mr. Wolf, is so important that we have to engage our kids, and sometimes these are the best ways to get them engaged in school is through an activity that they are passionate about. So I uh, want to make sure, though, that what this board has had to focus on uh, with not necessarily an abundance of funding at any level uh, to, to be able to get us to a place where we can have this conversation and consider moving forward because we no longer have to go and get ourselves just back to where we were pre-recession. So I just don't want that part to be lost on anyone. Um, and I had one other thought. Um, I think as we're considering this, I, I, I do think there are other folks that have ideas for how this might happen. Some of the best ideas we get are from folks that may not necessarily just be working in it. Um, I, certainly our athletic directors, our coaches, our board, but there also may be students, there may be other community folks that, that have good ideas for how we can not only move forward effectively, but even more quickly in accomplishing this. So I want to encourage, too, as has been mentioned earlier, uh, really uh, maximizing those partnerships, whether it's with Parks and Rec or with many others. Uh, I, I think that there is an opportunity to move forward, and maybe there are soft cost savings. Um, I think one of the biggest challenges that was brought up, and this is the final thing that I'll share, is, is field space. Well, I think it's a wonderful thing, and I know how excited Mr. Braswell is, and I don't think he's the only one, that we will have over the next few years fields that can have greater wear and tear on them and be able to, to you know, have more sports play on them. So it really expands our ability or capacity to provide opportunities for kids. But I won't, 
I'm, I'm just going to go back a, f a few years when that bond passed in 2014. Some folks were not very supportive of that at the time. So I think in moving forward, we need to make sure that everyone understands the context. And anything that we invest in, we need to be prepared to sustain, not just invest in it. And then when the next recession comes down the line or something else comes, we start wanting, wondering what we're going to reduce again. So I'm not trying to rain on the, the parade or anything, but I want to make sure that those thoughts are shared this evening. But thank you all for that, and thank you, school board, for your interest and leadership in helping to advance these opportunities for students.